Right, now one of the things we have to be able to do at GCSE level is talk about how the structure of a specialised cell helps it carry out its function. And I think we're all in agreement when I say it's pretty boring stuff. So what I'm going to do is very quickly talk you through one of the most common cells that we need to know about, which is this one. Hello, surprise, it's me. I'm a, I'm a sperm cell, yeah. And then I'm going to sing you the best song about sperm you've ever heard. Yippee, wow, yeah, it's made my day, that has. So the scenario is this, you open up your biology paper and there's a big picture of a sperm there and it's asking you, how does the structure of that cell help it complete its function? We can't answer that question unless we know the function. So what's the function? Oh, I know this one. It's to swim to and fertilise the egg. Yeah. Thanks. And there's four parts of the sperm cell that allow it to carry out that function. So let's take a quick look. Yeah, all right then, let's do that. Be a big nose ball potato face. It's not as if I've got anything better to do with my weekends, is it? So we start off with the tail or the flagella, and obviously that helps the sperm cell swim, but really, to pick up the marks in the mark scheme, I want you to talk about swimming to the egg. We're relating the structure of the cell with the function, and if the function is to get to the egg, then we're going to say swim to the egg and not just swim. It's not just doing a few laps in the swimming pool, is it? Uh, number two, we're going to look at the mitochondria. The mitochondria are there to release energy. Now, we're going to talk about releasing energy and not producing energy because energy is conserved. It can't be made or destroyed. So we talk about the mitochondria releasing energy through respiration, and that energy is used to power the tail. Think about that little section, that number two section there with the mitochondria as being the engine of the tail. Number three, we're going to think about the nucleus. The nucleus is haploid. That's a really key word. Get that word. What word was it? Haploid. I'm beginning to think you think I'm a bit of an idiot, you prick. Yeah, get that word fixed up here now. Haploid means half of the genetic material, because of course the egg has the other half of the genetic material. And then at the top of the sperm there, we have the acrosome. Now, the acrosome is very important. Take a look at this. So this picture shows multiple sperm trying to enter the same egg. It's disgusting. Yeah, shut up, whatever. Now, if more than one sperm does enter the egg, that would be disastrous. It would mean that the egg cannot be fertilised because it won't have a diploid nucleus. In other words, just the right number of chromosomes, which in our case is 46. So the egg has a protective coating on the outside, which slows the sperm down. And the sperm can't enter the egg until they get through this coating. Now, to get through this coating, the tip of the sperm has something called an acrosome, which has enzymes which allow it to break that coating down. But this process slows down the sperm and ensures that instead of multiple sperm entering the egg at once, only one sperm, one winning sperm, does. Um, that's it, really. But I think we need to wrap this all together in a song. He's not a tadpole, that would be silly. He's just a cell that comes out your will here. You'll never be friends or besties, but he's made in your testes. He's got an acrosome on his head to help him break into the egg. He's got an acrosome on his head to help him break into the egg. And to help him swim longer, he's got a lot of mitochondria. To help him swim longer, he's got a lot of mitochondria. Well, they'll teach you he swims at school Just don't put him in your swimming pool The first to the egg is a winner Just hope you never see some on your dinner He's got an acrosome on his head To help him break into the egg He's got an acrosome on his head To help him break into the egg And he's a product of meiosis He's got a haploid nucleus He's a product of meiosis He's got a haploid nucleus He's got an acrosome on his head To help him break into the egg He's got an acrosome on his head To help him break into the egg And don't forget he's a product of meiosis Which means he has a haploid nucleus That's half the genetic material Thank you